Hey, hey, I'm so excited to have y'all joining me for the party. I'm so excited to show y'all about these books. Yay, I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and get started. I have a lot of books. Um, I just, it's so hard for me to just pick some, but I want to showcase some of the really awesome books that Usborn has. Um, so yeah, let's get started with them. So these are some of the reusable sticker books. They're super awesome, so these are really cool. They have reusable stickers, so the All Better and Kisses, Cuddles, and Goodnight have five stickers. I think all of the reusable ones have five stickers except for the Christmas one, so they're really awesome. They're not like normal stickers, they're like hard, thick stickers, and if they ever lose their stick, you can just run them under cold water and then dry them off. So, um, let's see, I'll go through the first couple, cause they have band-aids on them already all right whoops she jumped as high as she could but it wasn't high enough ouch clean it kiss it put a bandage on it so then you go to the front and you find the band-aid that has the sheep which is this little yellow one right here well not little but so then you come over here and you find sheep scratch and you put it on all better so that one you go through five different animals that need help this one is the same similar thing except for all these animals need their little stuffed animals to go to bed at night and it's Christmas time comes with 15 stickers on this little sheet but they're all on this book because my three-year-old <laughs> put them on anyway so like right here you can see his little ornament on there so you can kind of put them through like on the different scenes there's a little plate of cookies that he wanted to give the fox as he was sledding down the hill so I think he put a lot of them on the last page if you can see a lot of the stickers on this one anyways these are really fun and super awesome for keeping little ones entertained all right these are some fun storybooks so we've got beast feast and dragon post there's also santa post these ones are really fun they have letters in the books um so this one is beast feast so in this book beast goes out and he finds dinner. You are dinner, says Beast. Said Beast, no I'm not, said dinner. Anyways, he's really excited and he writes to his friends and invites them to dinner and he gets letters back. So look, this is a letter here. And there's four different letters. So my son, my three-year-old, he loves going through the letters. So right here, his friends make different suggestions and based on the suggestions, they decides what activity they do. So anyways, my three-year-old loves this book. They're really fun. All right, then there is Dragon Post, which is the same type of a book. Alex finds a dragon in the bottom of his house, and he does not know what to do with a dragon. So he writes to the fire brigade because they will know what to do. And then he gets a letter back. So this book, the Dragon or Beast Feast has four letters and Dragon Post has five. So this one is actually out right now, but you pull it out and you read the letter from the fire brigade. And then you can put it back in and my three-year-old loves taking these letters out and reading them. And then he does what the fire brigade tells them to do. Right here. He get, he, oh, he tries to give a jam sandwich to the dragon. He does not like that, so he writes to the butcher and he gets, oops, sorry, it's a little ripped right there. He gets a letter back from the butcher. And like the butcher's name is Mr. Angus Take, like Angus Take. So they're like really fun, cute, cute books and letters in them. Um, this one is I Say Ooh, You Say Ah. It's a really, really fun book, so. There's something very simple I need you to remember. When I say ooh, you say ah uh, as loudly as you can. Are you ready? Ooh, and they say ah. Uh, I can't hear you. Ooh, and they say ah. Uh, one more time, even louder. Ooh, and they say ah. Uh, that's it. Now if you see the color red, pat your head. So you go to the next page and it's red. Ooh, ooh, ooh and they're going ah, 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 ah. Stop hitting yourself. It sounds like it hurts. Okay, there's one more thing. When you see an ant, you say, underpants and then you say underpants because you see an ant I beg your pardon that's a bit rude so it goes through this book and has a lot of really fun things like that it's super interactive a really fun book these are two books that just came out in the January launch of books they're the wrong fairy tale so we've got Goldilocks and the three little pigs so in this story Goldilocks goes on a walk and she sees a sign that says notice to wolves go away and she's like well I'm not a wolf so it's okay and the three little pigs hear her walking up the steps and they think that she's the big bad wolf so they're so scared but then she comes in 
and they see each other and she sees their porridge and gets really excited and then they say hold on you're Goldilocks said the three little pigs together you're in the wrong fairy tale so she helps the three little pigs escape from the big bad wolf all right and then this one is Jack and the three bears so in this book Jack and, or not Jack, the three little bears go on a walk and they see the beanstalk and they're like, that, we don't think that has, was here before. So the little bear starts climbing up the beanstalk and so his parents come after him and they find Jack and he's hiding from the, the giant. So they all try to escape from the giant in this book. So these are really fun storybooks. Okay, this next set of books is are some really good books for if you have younger kids. So this one is, Are You There Little Bunny? There's Are You There Little Bat? Are You There Little Unicorn? They're all the same type of book. They have these little like um, feel throughs or like little punch outs, even though there's some of them are completely see-through and some of them aren't. They have little peek throughs, little finger trails. My three-year-old likes doing the little finger trails. So they're cute little books. And my um, 14 month old loves touching the little, like the little cut throughs in these. There's That's Not My Unicorn. There's a lot of That's Not My Books. There's That's Not My Sloth. There's That's, I, I don't know if there's That's Not My Pig, but I know that there's That's Not My Pirate. So there's a lot of really good books. So this one, like it's like shiny on the front and then the sides of the pages are like this shiny as well. That's Not My Unicorn. It's mean is too fluffy. So then it goes through some different that's not mys. And then at the end, that's my unicorn. Its horn is so sparkly. This is the baby's very first playbook of garden words. It's got some little cutouts through here. So it's kind of the same concept as the um, our peek through book. It has some of those little things in there. Some of them you can see are actually like through the page and then some of them are just still have the page behind. So there's finger trails and then you can Look for these words on this page. It's kind of like a, a seek and find as well. So yeah, once again, my 14 month old loves touching these little cutout things, even the ones that don't fall all the way through the page. And my three year old loves the little finger trails. Just like the little rainbow. All right, don't tickle the dinosaur. There's don't tickle the pig, don't tickle the hippo, don't tickle the tiger and some other ones. So don't tickle a dinosaur, you might make it grunt. And it goes through some other ones. So they're touchy-feely and noise books. Uh, and then it says, Sh oh no, now look what you've done. My three-year-old has a dance to this song and my 14-year-old loves this book too and he loves dancing to it as well. So they're really fun books little speakers on the back. Oh, and it has an on and off switch, so you can totally turn it off if you don't want to off. Or turn it on or off. Baby's very first noisy book, Jungle. So they have some other ones. I think there's like a farm one. I can't remember what all the other ones are, but this is the jungle one. So they've got some fun, simple text on them. So here's the monkey. This one doesn't have an on off switch, only some, some of them do. I know the Don't Tickle the Books do. I don't know if any other ones do. Frog and parrot. Okay, and we've got Poppy and Sam's Animal Hide and Seek. So this is a lift the flap and touchy feely book. So it's so super fun. And it's a book by Stephen Cartwright. And all the books by Stephen Cartwright have a hidden duck to find on every page, which is really fun. So it's touchy feely. Then it has like little shiny ones like that too. So like for example, the duck is hiding right there. So there's only one cow in the barn. Where's Daisy? She's hiding. And you can touch so many of these different things are touchy feely. So there's this book or this page. This one has
Alright, so then we have some fun Nibbles books. These books are really fun. I love the Nibbles books. So Nibbles is a book monster and he eats through books. So these two are little board books. So if you have little kids, these are especially awesome. Um, these ones are especially geared towards little kids. So Nibbles is in his little cage. And in this book, you can see there's all these different, he eats through the colors to just figure out which colors he likes best. So you can see through a couple. And then at the end of the colors, you can see he's eating his way through these pages. So it's pretty cool. And then right here, you can see he's like eating through them as well. So it's really fun. And then there's Nibbles Numbers. And he's in his little, little cage. But for each number, there is a hole in the page. So he eats through these numbers. So they're fun little books. And then on the 10th one, some of them just have, they're still cutouts, but they have stuff behind them. But there's still 10 total. And then there's the one right here. And then these ones are storybooks. So there's Nibbles the, book, the Monster Hunt, Nibbles the Dinosaur Guide, and Nibbles the Book Monster. So this is the original one, Nibbles the Book Monster. This is a story about a little monster called Nibbles. Nibbles likes to nibble soap and nibbles nibble socks. Nibbles chomps on rubber ducks and nibbles munches clocks. Nibbles loves to nibble toes and nibbles nibbles hooks. But Nibbles' favorite thing of all to nibble on is books. Oh no, where's Nibbles? Gone. He's nibbled his way out of this book. Can you see him? It's right there. So this one is really fun because it's got books inside of books. So look right here, you can see there's Goldilocks and the Three Bears and he eats his way through. So these are fun. They've got little nibbles, little holes and little nibbles through the books. Goldilocks and the Three Bears, this little red riding hood. The wolf, big bad wolf turns into a duck because he nibbles through <laughs> like that and the ducks bottom of the duck is showing through, or chicken, I guess. Jack and the Beanstalk, not a duck, a chicken. Oops. And then at the end of this one, you get to put Nibbles back in his cage, and then, oh no, he's escaped. All right, um, Nibbles and the Monster Hunt is very similar as well. So, and this one, he also, you can see this cute little book right here. He eats through other books as well. So we start off with this book, uh, Facts. He nibbles through, eats some of the moon. And then right here, The World of Color. So it's really fun that they have books inside of books. I just really love that. And in this one, there's a dinosaur that has escaped that is trying to catch Nibbles and the little boy. So right here, you can see he's trying to get closer. Closer. They're trying to get away from the dinosaur. And then this one is Nibbles the Dinosaur Guide. So this one's really fun. He goes into a dinosaur. A dinosaur guide right here. So it's really fun because it's informational or informative because you can learn about dinosaurs. I believe there's four different ones in here. But can you see where Nibbles went? Uh-oh, he's nibbled his way into the Triceratops chapter. Nibbles, watch out. And they're like, intruder. And it's funny too, because right here you can see he like ate part of the dinosaur and this little one's like, dad. And then right here, there's jokes. What did the Triceratops sit on? It's Triceratops. So these books are really fun. You see the Diplodocus, the tri Tyrannosaurus Rex, and what's the other one that they see? Oh, the Velociraptor. How could I not remember that one? Anyways, they're really fun. So it's fun getting to watch Nibbles go through those books. All right. We have some Shine a Light books. There's lots of different Shine a Light books. I believe there's like 20 total. There's um, on the train, the car shop, or the garage, I think is what it's called. There's uh, Shine a Light Dinosaurs, Space Station. Did I see that one already? Anyways, this one's Secrets of the Rainforest. Look how pretty those pictures are. So the Shine a Light doesn't really work very well on the videos. So I'll just show you how it's going to work. Um, so you just go over to one of these pages. The treetop is a safe place to build a home. It's far away from dangerous animals on the ground. Who waits in this large nest? So you shine a flashlight behind it and then it reveals these white things through here. And then you turn the page and there's information about them on that page. This large chick is a young harpy eagle. Her parents fly to the nest to feed her. Squawk, squawk. 
There's a well-trodden path around the tree. Can you see who's walking this way? And then you shine a flashlight behind and it shows this through this page. Snuffle, snuffle, a tapir is headed to the river for a swim. Using her long nose, she snatches up leaves to eat along the way. And this is the human body one. So it's really cool set up just the same way. The body has five senses that it, uh, that tell it about the world. These are sight, hearing, touch, smell, and taste. Which sense is this boy using? Oh, and sorry, <laughs> I didn't go through the other side. So then you go through and it shows this. Can you shine the light through? Yum, he is using smell and taste. His nose smells the ice cream and his tongue tastes. Drinking plenty of water helps to keep the body healthy, but the body must get rid of the water it doesn't need. How does this happen? So you shine the light flashlight through and it shows this through here. Splish splash. Two kidneys in the body collect the unwanted water and turn it into pee. The pee flows down tubes into an expandable sac called the bladder. Kidneys and bladder. When the bladder is full, the pee is ready to leave the body. So the shining light books are really fun and little kids love shining flashlights behind them. All right. These are the questions and answers books. We have so many of them because my three-year-old loves them. We probably will end up with pretty much all of them. I don't know if we'll get all of them, but he loves them. Okay, so there's the very first question and answers ones. These are a little smaller, and then the questions and answers. So the very first question and answers, we've got what is poop? And there's more of them, of both of these. These are just the ones we have. What is sleep? What's a potty for? Why should I brush my teeth? What are germs? and what is snow? So I'll go through one of each of these. And if there's any of these ones that I didn't go through that you'd like to see inside, just let me know and I'd love to send you a video of them so that you can see inside. So, what is poop? What is poop? It's what falls into the toilet. Flush. Oh, uh, drops into a potty. Mommy, I did it. And gets caught by a diaper. Gagu. My three-year-old loves this book. The poop book is very popular amongst younger children. Um, I've had people get the book too and be like, oh, my three-year-old loves, or my child loves this, whatever age they are, that they got it for. I just said three-year-old because my three-year-old loves it. So they're very simple, but they have lots of flaps in them and they're still really informative and fun. Then these, so those are the very first questions and answers. These are just called, um, first questions and answers. So we've got what are feelings. That's a great one for helping your children with their feelings. Why do we need bees? Where does poop go? A great follow-up to what is poop? Why do tigers have stripes? How do we animals talk? And what makes it rain? So we'll go through one of these as well. So they're bigger and they do have, they are more in depth than the information. So what are feelings? What are feelings? So you can see there's a lot more information about it on here. Feelings are what we all feel inside our bodies and brains when good or bad things happen to us. Can you see how these animals are feeling today? So then it goes through what makes us happy. And there's lots of flaps. Oh, and you can see on here as well, there's lots more information on the flaps. My three-year-old loves these two though. So he loves both of the very first and the regular ones. So there's lots more flaps, lots more information. What makes us sad? What makes us angry? Why do we worry? What makes us scared? Dealing with our feelings. So it goes through a lot of the like really common emotions and some things about them. So they, that's a really, really, especially for young kids. All right, here are some other fun ones. We've got Poppy and Sam Telling the Time. This is a farmyard's tale book by Stephen Cartwright. So there is a duck to spot on every, a little yellow duck to spot on every page. And there is this little interactive clock. So it's fun, they can move it around. So they go through their day. What time is it? So she says it's seven o'clock. You go to this page, some of them have an actual clock on there. So right here, the little hand is pointing at eight, says Mrs. Boot, and the big hand is pointing at 12, so it's eight o'clock. So sometimes it has the little picture so you can compare it, but then on some pages it doesn't, so then you can practice. So right here she says it's nine o'clock. So it's really fun, they go through their day with the different times and you can move the clock. Some of them have clocks on them, some of them don't, so it gives you good practice. This one is Red, Red, Red. This is a great book for feeling emotions. It's really scribbly at the beginning because he's not happy. So he climbs up to get a biscuit from the jar. And crash, bang, bump, he falls down and he is not happy. And he says, I want, I want, I want a biscuit. So she tries to help him feel better, but he says everything is wrong, wrong, wrong. And she tries to help him and he says, Rah! he's not happy. Everything is red, red, red. 
So she says, why don't we count to 10 instead? One, he's not very happy. But as he starts to count, he is more okay. And by the time he gets to 10, he's happy again and he gets to have a biscuit with his mom. And look, there's little hearts at the end because he's happy. All right, and then we have life size. Look how big this book is. It's like a foot on all sides. It's a square foot book. There's also life size dinosaurs, which is a really awesome book. So um, it's a really fun interactive book too. So we kind of, an African elephant's feet are so big we could only fit two life size toenails on this page. Get your toes out and see who has the biggest toenails. You are an African elephant. So look how big that is. So it's fun. Anytime you see these caps lock letters of life size, it's going to show you something life size, whether it's the whole animal, like this little hummingbird, this bee hummingbird, or just a part of it, like the two toenails of the elephant. And like right here, high five a polar bear, put your paw on the polar bear's life size paw, whose is the biggest? So it's really fun interactive. Um, there is even a part in the book where you can put toco toucan, try on a life size toco toucan's beak, or put, um, the roar of the tiger on your face. Roar. Let's see what it would be like to have a tiger roar. And you can put an octopus. See what you would look like with an octopus eye. It's a really fun interactive book. Kids love this one. So you've got all about feelings. This is a really good book with information about um, feelings to try and help kids understand more about information about your feelings and why we feel the things we do. So everyone has feelings. So it goes through different feelings. How do you think these children are feeling? Can you match the words and faces? Body messages and clues. So how are you feeling? Why, why, why? There's even one about jumbled up feelings. So like you might feel multiple different feelings at a time, being kind to yourself. Um, let's see, there's helping friends and family. And there's just like so much information on all these pages. Those are just some of the pages. Then this one is the big book of stars and planets. So some of these books have, like this one has four giant fold outs. So they're really cool. So our planet, the solar system. So it folds out this way. And this way, super big and really cool. The sun, super stars, so this one folds out this way. Exploring space, this one goes up and down like this. That has lots of good information on these pages too. Roving around, did I only show three of them? Anyways. Night sky. So those are some really fun books. Okay, I have a few other ones that I want to show y'all. Okay, so these are really good lift the flap books, um, especially if you've got little kids. And they have other lift the flap ones too, like they have fractions, and I believe they have multiplication, addition, and subtraction. They probably even have division. Um, I'm not for sure on that one though. This one is ABC, so it is a really awesome book. My three year old loves these flap books. So they help with the alphabet. So they just have different activities on every page. So this one is like find the missing letter. Some of them say, what letter does this start with? Or some of them say, find something that starts with this letter. But it goes through the whole alphabet and it has different activities on every page. This one goes through the whole alphabet. And then this part shows little letters and big letters. So that's really awesome because like my three-year-old just learned caps lock letters at first. And so this helped him with understanding um, lowercase letters as well. And then this part right here, you can trace them just with your finger. So it's really awesome. You don't have to draw on them or anything. Lift the flap numbers. So once again, just different activities for the numbers. Um, this book, so this is really awesome. My three-year-old is good at counting, but this book has helped him with um, 
understanding that numbers, like associating the number with the actual thing. So like he'll read, um, how, lift the flap to check the numbers. How many zebras can you, like how many of each of these animals can you spot? So he'll see the zebras and he'll count. And if he counts like eight or six or whatever the number is that's not seven, he'll lift the flap and go, no, that's not right. And he'll keep counting until he gets seven. He'll say, that's right, good job. So he like understands like what the number is, that the number is an actual thing. So it's really cool. So lift the flaps to find these things right here. Six carrots, four mice. Blast off so you can find the missing numbers and count the spots on the planet. And then open the flap to see if you're right and match the rocket to the other rocket. At the fun fair, has odd and even numbers and counting dots, spots on the balloons. Lost letters. Busy bus stops. This is a good page on addition and subtraction. First and last. Things like that. And this one is on colors. So the color train, can you guess who goes snap snap in the red car, who's brown and furry in the pink car? The magic forest, find, find these in the forest and say what color each one is. Hungry penguins, so you match the, the color of the fish to the bow or the bow to the color of the fish. I guess you look at the color and then try to flip, find them. So red fish and the bow is red right here on the penguin. Or you could do it either way, I guess. You could do bow to fish or fish to bow. Busy town, lift the flaps to find a blue car, a black car. Monkey mixing, I really like this page because it shows like red and white is pink and blue and yellow is green. Color counting, can you find these toys in the toy store? I've lost my, so this is like the animals have lost certain things. Help dog find the blue, his blue spotted hat. Mouse can't find her green striped bag, so then you open these things to try and help them find the stuff that they're missing. So those are really fun books. Okay, and we've got the magic painting books, which are really fun. This is an animal's magic painting book. So for example, if you look right here on this page, you can see the cheetah right here doesn't have any um, color. And so all you have to do is get a white bowl, or not a white bowl, a bowl of water and a brush. It doesn't have to be the brush that comes with it, although it does come with a paintbrush. And you, this is, this is so nice because you don't have to deal with all of the little like, like, colors and the mess that comes with the paints I mean that's what I mean and look you just put water on it and it paints the animal Ta -da! it's fun and then there's these wipe clean books there's lots of fun wipe clean books we have the two big ones we have are writing numbers and pen control I believe there's also a beginning pen control but you can see there's like the dots on these so that they can follow the trails and stuff so there's the animal talks about the different names of them but you can see there's all dots on all of these for on the different pages for them to follow through so there's different activities I wanted to show those up close but like you can see the dots there's a maze so it like goes through this page there's lots of different little fun things they can do there's another maze writing numbers this one goes through 20 and it's fun because it's got little dots connect the dots things too and the numbers are like incorporated and so you see the one on the fence or the lines on the fence you can trace it up here and down here down on here and then yep they just incorporate the numbers in so like the sixes are the snorkel and the little head on here the tens are the little telescope 13 is the little hair on his head on top of his head and it's fun because they can trace them down here too. And up here. All right, and we have, there's a lot of sticker books. So we've got this Diggers and Crane one. Some of them are reusable, some of them are not, but some of these, so this one is a reusable one. So they've got these, like you can see these pages on the front are like, they're not like laminated, but they're just like shiny, I don't know. Anyway, so they have different like page topics. So lifting and loading, carrying cargo. Snow drift, so it goes through different ones like this. So you go through all of those different ones. And then when you get to the stickers, it has different like categories. So pages two to three, lifting and loading, carrying cargo, pages four to five. So it has, I mean, obviously you can put the stickers wherever you want, but it has like different ones, suggestions for them. And then at the end, at least on this one, it says, 
you could put these stickers anywhere in the book. So it has extra additional ones and they totally are repositionable as long as you put them on these little shiny pages. Um, if you put one down and like you need to move it, it's totally like you can pick it up and move it. It totally is repositionable. All right, we've got pop-up dinosaurs. So there's a lot of fun pop-up books. There's this one, there's pop-up garden, pop-up seasons. That one has a really pretty um, gar or tree that pops up at the end. There's pop-up fairy tales. Anyways, this one has words in it, but look how cool. I'll just show you the pictures. So the pop-ups are really fun. Oh, I already did that one. <laughs> Pop-ups are cool. This one's Muddle and Match. We've got Jungle Animals. There's for sure Monsters, Imagine and Adventure. I think there are some other ones too, but they're really fun. So you can read it just like this. Regular Marvin the Mighty Monkey moves towards the mark on the map to meet the mysterious magical meerkat. Or you can mix them up and say, Patrick the Playful Parrot charges to the checkered flag, believing she'll be the best ballerina at the bug ball. So they're really fun. My three-year-old does not like them to be mixed up. He likes them <laughs> to be read like this. So you can read them either way. They're, they're fun either way. And you can totally mix them up so they could be different. Different thing every time. Chris the Curious Crocodile zealously zooms to the zoo to give a gift to Jeffrey the Grasshopper. And so this part, this part matches this part. It's really fun. Um, there's a lot of fun peek inside books. I know there's also peek inside snowy places. This is peek inside a beehive. Um, we have, my husband and his family do, his parents do bees, so we like the bee books. We think they're fun. So like right here, you can open a beehive. And there's just little flaps. So they're fun. They have little information right here. You can, to help learn about bees, excuse me, like you can open the door and see what she sells in her store that she's used honey with. Excuse me. And then some of them have little like cutouts in the book pages too. They're just really fun, pretty books. And they're really informative too. These little cells to open up. Look how cool this is. So they're really fun. All right, just a few more that I have to show y'all. So um, there are a lot of phonics books. Um, there's Adder Up a Ladder, Raccoon on the Moon. Um, this is called Ted and Friends, and it's by Stephen Cartwright, so there is a little yellow duck to spot on every page. This is a compilation of 10 different phonics stories, and they do come with the CD. It's not in here because I've taken it out, so it doesn't get messed up, but we have uploaded it onto our computer so my three-year-old can just sit here and flip through them while the stories get read. So there's Fat Cat on a Mat, Ted in a Red Bed, and these, so they go through different like phonics sounds and stuff like that. So Fat Cat on a Mat. And it says right here, there's a little yellow duck to spot on every page. Fat cat sees a bee. Fat cat flees up a tree. Buzz. I don't like bees, yelps fat cat. So they're really like basic fun books. They do have some other rhymes in them, but mostly like fat cat has the ah sound. So there's mostly the, the ah sounds. And then some of them on the edge of the pages have these bubble or flip out things. So those are really cool. And there's also the dual reader books. So the all of the first experience books are dual reader books. This one is a mini book. Some of them come in mini and big. Some of them are only mini. Some of them are only big. Um, there's going to the dentist, going to school, going to the doctor, and the new baby. So um, the dual readers are cool because they have simple text up top, more complex top text on the bottom. So the parent and the child can read the book together or the child can read the book by themselves and just read the top part and it's a story all on its own as well. It's just a more simple story. So those ones are really cool. And it helps them with learning to read and to get more familiar with first experiences that they might have. So I might not have been able to see it super well because I was kind of far away and it's a small book. There is a, there is a book um, that's like Ted and Friends that is a dual reader. There, um, it's called The Complete Book of Farmyard Tales. It's the same size as well. And I believe it also has 10 stories and it has a CD as well. Um, and so that one is a Stephen Cartwright book as well, but it's a Farmyard Tales one. So they're dual readers, but they're not the first experience books, but they totally, or stories, but they totally have the text on the top that's really simple and then the more complex text on the bottom. So that one's really awesome, especially since it has a CD so the child can flip through and read it as the CD reads it off as well. 
Okay, this last one we've got is Jonathan James and the What If Monster. This is another good one about feelings and with little kids and stuff. So, some What If Monsters like to hang out and fill our heads with worry and doubt. They are sneaky and quiet and quick as a blink. The words that they whisper can change how we think. Jonathan James heard those words full of dread and all those What Ifs got stuck in his head. So right here, he's about to, he's trying to climb a tree. What if you tumble? What if there's wind? What if you slip and your knee gets all skinned? He's gonna jump, wants to jump off a diving board. What if they giggle? What if it's chilly? What if you jump and look really silly? So they go through these different things where this what if monster is making him feel scared and worried. And then he says, now wait just a minute. I have something to say after hearing what ifs all through the day. I hear all your worries. I hear all your claims. But what if you're wrong? Asks Jonathan James. And then it goes through all those things. And he says, what if I climb to the top of the, that tree and I never slip or skin up a knee? And what if I jump right into that pool and everyone thinks I look really cool? So it goes through all those different things and um, has like a positive spin on them saying like, yeah, like it's okay to be nervous about those types of things, but something really good could happen from them. I don't need to be scared. So anyways, these are some of the great books that we have. They're not all of them, but they are some really awesome ones. Um, if there are any of these books that I didn't show um, that you'd like to see or any other ones you'd like to see more details on, you can definitely let me know and I'd love to send you a video so you can see more information about them. Don't forget to go check out the party posts um, that are posted tonight during the party so that you can see um, different more information about the books. There's a few short videos you can watch. There's different pictures of the books and some more information so that you can learn some other really cool things about the Usborne books. And you can also enter, participate in the post and earn prize entries for the drawing. So that's really awesome. So definitely make sure to give me a message and, or comment on here if you have any questions and I'd love to answer them for you. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Have a good night.